So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now, I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very in-depth build that I made a whole video on previously. I'll briefly describe the build after I show you the location of today's Lost Sector. The exotic armor in rotation today is Arms. Today we'll be clearing with just one class, but there are builds for all three classes in the description. And with that out of the way, what's good guys, it's Zen, thanks for choosing my channel, and let's hop right into today's guide. Alright, now for today's Lost Sector, we're going to be dealing with Unstoppable and Overload Champions. Now with that in mind, we're going to be using my Shinobu's Vow build on Arc Hunter. Now for the weapons, we're going to be using a Hand Cannon, Cold Heart, and an Arc Rocket Launcher. The Hand Cannon is here to stun those Unstoppable Champions. Cold Heart is here due to its heavy build synergy and the fact that it stuns Overload Champions. And the Rocket is here due to the heavy damage it does all season due to the arc surge now guys there is so much going on with this build i mean with it we literally have four second grenade cooldowns so i highly recommend checking out the build it is in my opinion the best hunter build this season but with that being said the gameplay itself will convince you how good it is so let's hop right into the guide all right now the first thing we're going to do when we enter this lost sector very very fitting for this build we're using today is we're going to throw our grenade now as you can see we just threw our grenade and it's already 90 percent back absolutely ridiculous ridiculous stuff guys this build is broken i'm gonna throw another grenade because there's more ads coming and then we're gonna proceed forward now as you can see there's an unstoppable chasing us down and there's gonna be a bunch of thrall jumping on top of us so we're gonna stun the unstoppable with the hand cannon and use one rocket and then throw some grenades at the ads and they're gonna absolutely fall over now how many grenades have we used like five we already have two charge we just threw another one and it's already 40 percent back and that's on the low end when we pick up that orb and when we dodge it'll come back even faster just absolutely ridiculous stuff and we absolutely melt the unstoppable champion with our hand cannon combined with cold heart now we're gonna proceed forward now guys honestly this is the best lost sector in the game to farm apart from chamber of starlight i would say they're both equal they are the best lost sectors to farm and the only thing slowing you down in this lost sector is ad clear so this build just makes it a complete breeze because obviously we have infinite grenades that is the best ad clear in the game you know apart from that one exotic bow that's slipping me right now the the arc one you know what i'm talking about now anyways when we proceed forward, we're, you're going to want to grab this position by the tree because there's an overload champion above and unstoppable and an unstoppable that's going to push you. So with this tree, we have the perfect cover because this unstoppable just does some crazy damage, guys. Now, that's one thing to look out for. You saw I was just slowed down, so I wouldn't have been able to retreat to the tree very easily. So we did switch to the left side, but that's no problem at all. Get the finisher off after some rockets and some stunning with the hand cannon. Going to throw our grenade to clear out the rest of the adds and... Just one more ad left, and now we can deal with the Overload Champion. Now, our grenades do have the Jolt effect, and we could use that to stun the Overload Champion, but we also have Cold Heart. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but we're going to deal with this these guys really, really easily, guys. Cold Heart is such a powerful exotic it just does some crazy damage and you'll really see it start to ramp up towards the end due to the exotic perk which states when you do sustain damage to a target the longer you remain on them the more of a damage bonus you get so as you can see it absolutely fries overload champions this season due to the overload trace rifle mod lasting all season additionally there is an arc surge lasting all season just making it even more powerful now at this point we are in the boss room already it's only been two minutes and 30 seconds we're gonna throw a grenade to deal with these ads on on the ground because they are the ones that can only they're, they're pretty much the only ones that can do some damage to you so you guys want to clear gonna want to clear them out first now as you can see everything up here on the top platform they are all part of the same group and what i mean by that is after killing all but one of these enemies standing on this platform the boss will actually spawn and that does include the overload champion so guys what i like to do is kill the overload and leave one of these lesser enemies alive because obviously you don't want to fight the overload and the boss at the same time that would be quite annoying especially with the overload hitting you with the slow effect now the slow effect when combined with the boss's damage is enough to completely wipe you like the boss can melt you very quickly but with that being said the boss is now spawning so we're gonna start throwing our rockets at it and the beautiful thing about that is obviously there's a bunch of ads surrounding 
the boss so our rocket combined with our super is clearing them out and just like that we have cleared the lost sector guys do not miss out on this farm it's easy the best lost sector on every single class hopefully this helped if it did be sure to subscribe as i post lost sector guides daily i have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and if everyone watching this subscribed we could hit it in a week which would be crazy either way thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for the next video peace